I'm Kamran Afari. Uh, I'm speaking with Dimitra Stavru in Athens. I'm in Los Angeles. Dimitra is in Athens. Um, we met uh, about a year ago in July of 2019 in Athens, where we spent a week together in the city of Lavrio or Lavrion, um, doing a drama therapy workshop, which included a day of ethnodrama in the city of Lavrio, where a group of us who had been working intensively on doing drama therapy exercises um, were mentored by uh, Dimitra to go out into the city and to start talking to people and interviewing people and finding out about the history of Lavrion, finding out about the culture of Lavrion, finding out about um, social interactions. And then uh, we came back after about three hours and we uh, spent about two hours uh, creating some performances, uh, developing some ideas from our interviews and encounters. Uh, and then we went out, we went out into the streets and we started performing some scenes from what we had learned about the city and about the people of the city and about the history of the city. And La Rion in particular is a fantastic, um, amazing place with a long history of uh, uh, thousands of years of mining. So it was originally a mining town and now has recently become more of a port city with a lot of tourism. Um, so the, the population, I mean, one of the things I found out was, you know, this transition from a mining city to a port tourist city and how that affected the population of the city, um, including, you know, people who are now developing museums or including uh, the fishermen who caught a shark in 1975, a 400 kilogram shark that was as now a legend in the city and who's now owns a restaurant, including the, the director, the assistant to the mayor who has just finished a PhD dissertation on the history of the city and had some very beautiful passages about what people have been going through, uh, including I think Dimitra also taught us something about the, the, the island next to the city that used to has a long history of being a political prison and some of the poetry and writings from the prisoners from the 1950s and 60s that were caught in that place and some of them were tortured in that place as well. So we had we had an amazing day. I remember even one scene where um, some of our colleagues created a scene of standing in front of a plant that had closed and recreating a scene of these workers going to the plant and knocking on the door and trying to open the plant to get in and uh, how that, you know, they went through a long period of economic distress and suffering, et cetera, et cetera. So, it's, so we had this amazing day uh, of spending time in Lavrio together and really getting to know this place in a way that would have been impossible uh, if we had just studied in the books or we were just interviewing people or if we were just regular researchers because this was more than just your regular research where you're just trying to gather information, but actually performing that research and performing it back on that spot and going to the city center and you know going to the port and going to the front of the old plant um, and um, recreating some of those things. So I've been wanting this past year to share this with you, this experience with you, my students in the graduate seminar, um, both to meet Dimitra and to be able to talk about ethnodrama and some of the history of ethnodrama and some of the background. Uh, Dimitra was supposed to be here in Los Angeles this week. Um, and unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we had to cancel, but we were supposed to participate in a seminar together. We were uh, having Dimitra to come to class and speak to the students, but unfortunately we're now under lockdown all over the world and you know, having to meet in this way. So. With that introduction, I just want to welcome you, Dimitra. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much to be a Great, great. I'm saying hello to your students also. <laughs> great, thank you. So I had a few questions for you. Uh, and I just, I want my students to also know that we've been working on this project for a while where we gathered some reflections from the participants. They've written different uh, notes and essays in response to two questions that Dimitra asked them. 
uh, about the experience of that day in Lavrio. And we're working on that. We're, we're going to be editing both this interview and some clips, videos from the trip, from the day of doing ethnodrama uh, in Lavrio with some of the writings and maybe additional videos as well to, to put together something as a, in a self-contained uh, short documentary uh, that on this. So with that, without any further ado, I wanted to maybe start with the first question I had, which was, please talk about your work and history as an ethnodrama practitioner, some of the sites, the issues, and the affected populations. Well, I am psychologist. This is my main uh, work. But uh, I always was flirting with uh, anthropology. Uh, and I am drama therapist too. So all these three, by com being combined, uh, I arrived to this ethnodrama uh, method, practice, uh, as a part of different kinds of, uh, of uh, projects. Either is a therapeutic project, either is a art, an artistic product, either is a educational, uh, so it depends on the context. Um, after, a, after psychology and drama therapy, I studied also ethnography. And I, I've, I've run some ethnographies in the Balkans. And uh, then I try to combine drama therapy with ethnography. And uh, so I, I arrived to ethnodrama. Uh, but in my work, it's mostly ethno arts, finally, because it's not only drama I use. As I, I don't know if you remember the video with, uh, we did in uh, Albania for uh, saving a river there, uh, we used ethno ethnography as a method, uh, research on the field. And then uh, with this data, this data, we create an artistic video which have been in uh, two exhibitions, one in uh, Albania and one in Athens. And then, so this, it was our mediation for uh, putting people out on the streets and, uh, and uh, save a river which uh, was uh, uh, under danger because of uh, political um, uh, decisions. Uh, which were very against the nature and uh, just for uh, your, for making business. So it was an activist program, but using art as a as a Trojan horse uh, in this in this program. Then after uh, here in Athens, Athens was uh, very much beaten from uh, Greece in general from the economic crisis, maybe you know, in the United States, it is famous all around the world. So we had struggled very much uh, during the last years. And I have run uh, as a drama therapist, a group of uh, unemployed people, experimental group with unemployed people and uh, giving drama therapy for free. Uh, not for free because it was an, a research, so it was an exchange. I, already uh, and then in the end of this uh, group of this drama therapy uh, it was uh, for two years it, uh, the duration uh, we create uh, a group with these people and uh, the name of this uh, group was liminal the liminal uh, from liminality van genep and uh, victor turner so with this group um, we have uh, played outside in the streets with uh, making social theater. And uh, many things we did, it was uh, inside the method, it was ethno, ethnodrama, uh, ethnography, and a drama later, later on. One of the projects, it was uh, in the city of Athens, in the, ci in the, the city center, there, are, there is uh, one neighborhood, uh, which is uh, completely destroyed by very ugly buildings and and the people are not connected at all with uh, the place. So what we wanted to do, it was to 
to try to to connect people with uh, their place and uh, so we start to to f and also always having this idea of uh, saving the water saving the rivers as a as a, the following up of the last project with the river in albania and um, we did ethnography we went to the people and uh, some of them uh, supposed to play also after that and uh, we went there we went in the cafenium in the old places where old people uh, were staying to find memories about how this place was before the dis the, uh, the destruction uh, so we collect all these stories and we played in the streets uh, a drama uh, we did it the, the the main subject the the stream was uh, concerning a river a river which was existing in this area but it was covered uh, with all these buildings it, it was completely uh, disappeared the river is there always under our feet but nobody sees the river and nobody is uh, aware of, uh, of that river um, so we but we uh, we did also other uh, other productions uh, in the city of, Ta of Athens also with prostitutes and uh, the trafficking and uh, and the last uh, project it was uh, it is also in between uh, in between Greece and Macedonia there were a fight in between, uh, which it was very uh, dangerous for uh, racism you know because uh, the Greeks uh, were accusing Math Macedonians and the Macedonians were accusing the Greeks and there was a fight because of the name of uh, Macedonia because Macedonia was also the name of the northern uh, area or in Greece and uh, so we decided I decided to go in Macedonia northern Macedonia to find a place to make an ethnography there by having the idea to make a performance actually in the Greek in the Greek zone in between the two countries and uh, this is an uh, this is the, the another uh, project which it will I try to find out the nice time you know and the nice uh, occasion to make it in the Greece in the Greek zone in between the two countries so this is the last project yeah and Larry, I thought, yeah. thank you so much so yeah I was wondering I mean can you maybe walk me through uh, let's say you know if I'm going to participate in an ethnodrama project with you can you walk me through what it would be like what is that experience how is the ethnodrama structured um, what are some of the skills that I can expect to learn in the process uh, and what are some of the goals is it activism is it self-discovery etc yeah so the um, concerning the aim the target the um, the goal it depends uh, it's uh, it's it depends it's uh, of the context what we want to do but uh, the structure of an ethnography we, we first it's the ethnography and then it's the, later on is the drum uh, for the ethnography uh, we need to go and to have in mind that we are social subjects uh, we are there with our bodies with our senses uh, we don't know nothing from the beginning we try to be open uh, to for the exchange for for this uh, meeting with other and uh, to find out who is the other and um, inside this uh, uh, conversation uh, this research uh, we discover also things of ourselves too and uh, this is very important for me as drama therapist and as psychologist because um, the main reason for me for being a good in a okay for a well-being is also to be connected with the society you cannot be well only by talking about uh, what you have in your mind and in your body in your family if you don't care about 
but is outside in your neighborhood, in your uh, city, and uh, in humanity. There are many levels in this uh, uh, research. So first uh, we, we do the ethnography, and then later on we collect the data, we, uh, and then uh, we try to, 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 to produce something. And this something, what, what we produce, for me the best is to go to play it outside in the street, uh, in front of these people, they gave us the information. It looks like a little bit like this form of theater of um, um, playback theater or a forum theater of Augusto Boal a little bit. There are many similarities because it's not, we don't play something we already know as, uh, you know, as uh, somebody, somebody who knows, but we are taking the data of the people. We don't know nothing. We get the, the data and we create there something. What we create is not out, out, outside of us because we are always make a selection after that uh, collection. And the selection is uh, very much uh, has to do with who we are also. What you select and how you play it, where you play it. And I think the field always has a symbolic meaning. It's not only a realistic place, a real place, but has also a symbolic meaning, which is very, very important. And we can also play with this symbolic meaning of the field, of the place, of the scene, and also of time. When we play, how we use the time and the space is very crucial, I think, for uh, having a social impact also. If this is our goal, if our goal is, let's say, to, to, to have a social impact, because it's not necessary that the goal is always that, it depends on what we want to do. Great. Thank you so much. So I'm just actually picking up on the last thing that you were saying too, in terms of approaching your site, not only in terms of the real, realism and the empirical facts, but also the symbolic, uh, the symbolic uh, action. Um, uh, and I was just wondering if you can maybe talk a little bit about how ethnodrama is um, the kind of training and the practices that ethnodrama offers that other techniques or training practices do not offer, but that you incorporate into your work. Yeah. Well, um, there are quite many. Uh, one of them, I already mentioned it, it's uh, that the data is coming from the people. Uh, so we have their truth. And there is this this meeting of their truth with our truth. This interconnection is very, very important for me and for my work. Um, the other thing is that uh, it is, uh, when you are going outside, uh, you have all the risk, you're getting all the risk that the performer has because you are outside with your body. Uh, there is no a scene to be protected and uh, you are in the same level with uh, the people who are there and uh, being bodily um, uh, embodied inside the, the city or inside the, the square or something you are uh, one of them but not you are not neither one of them so this interaction is very very strong and uh, it has a risk always so it is a liminal space actually you never go out the same person as you are going in you are always changing and um, yeah, and uh, I think this is the main, uh, the, the two main uh, 
yeah, topics. Right. There are so right. many, but yeah. True. Can you tell me a little bit about how, um, talk about how this can be used in an educational curriculum? Um, things like for civic engagement, in activism, um, in social justice um, activism. Well, uh, in educational, let's say in educational, uh, in educational, because it's different uh, spheres, different uh, domains. Uh, in educational, we are going some many times uh, to teach uh, uh, students, but uh, we don't know the way they learn, uh, what are their struggles. And uh, there is, n I don't know in Europe at least, uh, I don't know any research w which has been uh, focused on the needs of the students. It's always uh, the, the educational programs are, are made from um, only from teachers and uh, from people who know, but nobody goes to ask what is real the problem of not, for example, understand the mathematics or uh, the, I mean the kids eh, to, to, to have a really ethnographic uh, research uh, using uh, Quality, qual, qualitative, well, qualitative uh, methods uh, for, uh, and then to to respond, to answer with uh, politics and uh, for the education, for the education, for example. Okay, uh, concerning activism. Well, there are many examples where, where uh, drama was. Uh, uh, gave the motive, the motivation of making uh, even uh, revolution as as it happened uh, in Belgium, uh, where uh, some centuries ago, uh, after uh, a theater play, people went out and they throw uh, they, they, they 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 fight against the Deutsch uh, colony, colonialism and they have been liberated and uh, this came out uh, after uh, a drama. So um, it's not the only example but uh, also capoeira in, uh, in Brazil is, a, is another uh, point of uh, how drama can be uh, cover, uh, cover way of uh, expression, a free expression to, to liberate. Okay, um, ethnographic, um, ethno ethnodrama for activism. When you have the real, the truth of the people and the, you, you have, you are getting uh, the information of their struggles and, uh, and uh, of the difficulties, um, then by taking and making drama with this uh, data, uh, you reinforce even more what is uh, there, but it's not uh, said, and uh, you are make it bigger and bigger because the scene, the theater scene, even if it's on the square, which is very important to have things like that in squares at outside because. We need public spaces. We need public spaces. It's very important to, to have public spaces. And public spaces are under danger today. So oh, yeah. uh, to have these uh, theater uh, actions, uh, you make it even bigger, you know, and you can contribute to, to reinforce a collective consciousness about a problem. But in the same time, we have a very, very uh, big responsibility. Let's say that our interventions are very uh, successful, okay? And then we have a responsibility which is ethical. And uh, who are, uh, who am I, who are you? Who is uh, all these people who are making ethnodrama um, uh, with a big social impact? in the street and what is the idea behind it can be a very dangerous tool also 
Okay, because it producing a social impact, it is a tool also. It is a, it can be a weapon also. So uh, propaganda, you know, to, to, it is a propaganda weapon at the same time. So for me, it, this uh, question, my answer is uh, to reinforce uh, uh, the values of uh, of the global human condition. Uh, this is what is important for me. It's not so much uh, now, I mean, not in the beginning when I started, because all these ideas are coming by the practice, you know, it's not in there from the beginning. So now I, what we have as problem, for me, it's ecological problem, it's very, very important. Even coronavirus, it could be uh, connected with this, let's say. Yeah. I'm not sure, I don't want to say you are the theorists like that about the corona, but uh, okay, it is there, the problem. And it's for everybody, it's not uh, only for me or I live in Athens or for you who, li who live in uh, LA. Yeah, thank you. How can people find out more about ethnodrama? Where, where can they learn more about ethnodrama? Well, there are many scholars, uh, the authors. Um, it depends also of the domain. Uh, for example, in our domain in drama therapy, we have Stephen Snow and uh, Susanna Pedrick. There are, there are books about uh, ethnodrama and Salvina also. Uh, but um, for me, the best uh, thing is also to read the uh, anthropological method methodology, the method of, uh, of anthropologists, because it comes from there mostly, and uh, and to be and theater. I mean, it is an hybrid. I love to work where the conjunctions of different disciplines exist. So you, you go and you read uh, from the one discipline and from the other discipline. And uh, so you have an idea of, of there and you combine later, you create. Is there anything else that you want to add? I'm very sorry not to be there uh, with my body. Uh, you and your students, I'm very, very sorry. Uh, I hope one day I will be in LA and meet you there. I hope so too, and I'm, I'm sure that will happen someday, if not this year, but I hope that we can do yeah. it again.